<laughs> no, you don't. There's <laughs> a possibility here, but it's in the bed. I'm not dead yet. There's been a scratch. <laughs> Senate, he's spoken. These are private peers in the service of the colony. 
All right. Uh, the legal documentation to prove that fact. Let's see here. And they are at liberty to attack and see any vessel flying the flag of our enemies. That does not mean that they are entitled to come and block their wisdom. That wasn't enough. Best kept their ordinance close at hand in case they needed to make a hasty change of command decision. Thank you, gentlemen and ladies. Sergeant Major has reported a theft of his, of his personal property. <laughs> Pay no attention to the dispute about the woman. <laughs> the Sergeant Major has had his watch stolen by this uh, disreputable gentleman. While well, these two here are fighting over a woman, more men have lost their lives over a woman than have lost their lives to country or religion. <laughs> for the young lady that her choice is the victim. <laughs> she might have been very... Oh my goodness, he seems to have found it. Oh, I see the Sergeant Major must have simply dropped it. <laughs> very good. Well, seeing as we have no other way of proving it was ever in his hand before he picked it off the ground, I will have to take his word for it, Sergeant Major. If you are satisfied, do you have your property back? Uh, the Provost may uh, clear the green. Advise this gentleman to keep his fingers to himself. And any further accusations of thievery, we will dispense with trial and all of that jurisprudence. We will simply lash him to the lamppost and take the cat to his back. Two accusations being sufficient to prove guilt as far as I'm concerned. Ladies, would you care to take the field? Captain Babylon will continue to speak for some time. He is not under arms. He's wearing his uh, uniform as he would be in an off-duty status without his cartridge box and bayonet, etc., with his woman on his arm. Now, a gentleman would always have his elbow ready for his lady, and she would always take it. A woman was dead, he had no need for the coat, so it's not a problem. <laughs> the lady is in a very lovely uh, dress with her built-in. We accentuated the hip area in the, in the fashion for wideness in the hips was a desirable feature for a woman today. She has a lovely straw hat to protect her head. I don't believe she's interested in the gold either, but you may be wishing to talk to your navigator and work an work arrangement. The Sergeant Major will now take the privates in a drill. Notice how well they keep in step. The young cadet is a very inquisitive guy. I, I predict that in the future he may retain the rank of general someday. Yeah, you have it. Uh, this corporal needs to be reminded not to turn his backside to the sergeant major. That's not, not the proper, proper point to take. They have been trained to seek out and chew upon grenadiers, <laughs> highlanders, <laughs> and members of the Royal Artillery. Training the troops. Okay. Run! Hot! 
Again, the, the small of the two is demonstrating those characteristics of an officer going where he pleases, doing what he will. <laughs> Oh God, great! The Coast Guard's out there. It'll for sure. the They look pretty, but they're a little slow. Sponge, please. Nothing to do with it. You're done already. Where's your outside? Not directly, sir. You got something lighter with? Dry sponge. Dry sponge the piece. Okay. Advance the cartridge. It'll take a moment. Drop the piece. Ran down cockroach. Frick and fry. Okay. Where's advance the cartridge? That cartridge? Load cartridge. Heat cartridge. Need another ram something. Ram cartridge. Sounded good. Pick a prime. The cartridge needs to clear the air and begin to leave it. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Put them right in front. One of the things is to take the fire. We are going to be firing the loot cartridge. You've got it back there. The piece is ready to fire, sir. Thank you. Okay, ready to fire. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Pass the word. 
Advance the charge. Yeah. 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 Incoming. Get fire! Get fire! Yes! 
Frisco were roving, I went to stay in that country was my good intent. But drinking strong liquor like other damn fools soon got me transported back to Liverpool, singing row, 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 bullies, row them Liverpool duties have got us in tow. There's a smart Yankee packet lying out in the bay, awaiting a fair wind to get underway. But all of her sailors, so sick and so sore, they drunk all their whiskey and can't get no more singing. Roll, roll, boys, roll, and Liverpool Judies have got us in tow. Oh, here comes the mate in a hell of a stew. He's looking for graft for us sailors to do. A jib topsail halyards, he loudly does roar. It's lay along, Patty, you son of the shore, singing. Roll. Oh, roll, roll, boys, roll, them Liverpool Judies have got us in tow. One night off Cape Horn I shall never forget. It's off times I sigh when I thinks of it yet. We was round in Cape Horn with our main skysail set. We was round in Cape Horn with us all ringing wet, singing roll. Roll, roll, boys, roll, them Liverpool Judies have got us in tow. And now we're a haul and way on to the line. When I thinks of it yet, sure we had a good time. Them sea boys box hall in the yards all around. To beat that flash packet called the Thatcher McGowan singing row. Roll, roll, boys, roll. Them Liverpool Judies have got us in tow. And now we've arrived in Bramley Moor Dock. Where them flash little Judies to the pierhead flock. The barrel run dry and our five quid advanced I guess it's high time to get up and dance singing row, 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 row